good afternoon come on focus good afternoon y'all um chris and i just dropped off the little one and we are headed to the alternative expo if you don't know what that is just google it i don't know if y'all watching with y'all kids but it's to um get basically additional information resources connects and you know producers and all of that in a certain industry so do your uh, research and you'll know what i'm talking about and then i'll show y'all the inside as well if they allow um us to get footage inside but i'll definitely try to get some pictures and stuff as well so that's where we're headed because one thing about us we gonna always cut the middleman and get you know straight to the source so that's what we're going to do um so hopefully we'll leave there with a bunch of new contacts and resources that we can use for future uh business endeavors so that's where we're headed so come along for the ride all my life all my life all my all my all my all my life the grinding all my life sacrifice cause we'll pay the price Wanna slice, cut the roll of dice, that's why All my life, I've been grinding all my life yeah. All my life, been grinding all my life Yeah, yeah that's cute Come by my booth, 449 Cut the roll of dice, that's why All my life, I've been grinding all my life yeah. Got married to this guy, that's who I made my wife Said I'd die alone, I told that you probably right One thing that's for sure, not a stranger to this life Got a safe that's full of Franklin's and a shoulder full of stripes Ah, don't know it like myself I say self-made, meaning I designed myself. County jail fade, you can pull my foul yourself. Spot rays, swallow rocks, I'm getting high myself. Yeah, damn right, I like the life I built. I'm West Side 60, I might got killed. Standing so tall, I think I might got stills. Legendary baller like Mike, like Will. All right, y'all, so we just left the Alternative Products Expo, y'all, and it was so dope. If you are in that industry, that we're not gonna talk about. If you are in that industry, I would suggest that you go the next time um, they come to Dallas because they had a lot, a lot, a lot of vendors, manufacturers for all sides, all aspects, all bits and pieces, back end, front end, packaging, everything. They had everything. And we got like samples and of course a whole bunch of resources and stuff. It's actually in the suitcase in the back, so I can't even show y'all probably best if I don't <laughs> but we got a whole bunch of information and we definitely um, made some really good connections that I know is going to like help us with the next steps of you know whatever we choose to do no matter which way we choose to do it but yeah like I said we are known for cutting the middleman and getting straight to the plug and I wasn't playing and I'll also be able to have these resources for anybody else that's wanting to get into the industry no matter like i said what part of the industry because we literally met somebody for each part of it i feel like whether it was packaging um helping you come up with your own you know custom blend all of that stuff so yeah that was that and now we are headed to our next destination because what i talked to y'all about in if it wasn't the last like weekly vlog it was on the last the wife and mompreneur diary so if you have not watched that don't go on on back and watch that because i was telling y'all about my next um business venture that's still within the fashion industry but it's what i've been leading up to i didn't go into detail because i've been waiting for the rest of these missing pieces and one of them just got delivered and it's basically for me to complete the next step of this process so I'm definitely going to show that to y'all. But we got to go pick it up first. So that's where we're headed. And I'm going to take y'all with us, of course. Never in my sheets, like it on top of the tub. Money on the dresser, driver compressor. Top notch hoes get the most, not the lesser. Trash like the fuck with $40 in the club. Fucking up the game, bitch, it gets no love. She be cross country giving all that she got. Alright y'all, I hope the air ain't uh going over my voice turning down. This hot y'all. It's over the hundreds right now. This whole week. It's very hot outside. But anyway, y'all, we just put up to UPS and Chris going in to get my package for me. I'm so excited. Once he um comes out here, I'm gonna show y'all what it is. And it might not be that exciting for y'all, but this is it. This is the next step for me in business. This is one of those things I've been like working towards and something that I've been waiting to check off my list 
this is one of those things when people ask me what are you you know plan to do in the next five to ten years Chris got the package <laughs> but yeah um that when they be like what are you planning to do in the next five to ten years where do you see your business or whatever I'm about to show y'all hold on okay y'all so this is what I've been excited about what I mentioned in the uh watch my entrepreneur diary I believe y'all it's fabric swatches I basically just became the manufacturer I now have access to a warehouse that is going to be producing all of my designs in-house mm, mm, and this mm. just the first one let me show y'all the other one okay y'all here goes some more of the swatches and the sunlight ain't even coming in the one time I needed it to but I'm gonna just show y'all some of them okay here goes some more and then I got a whole to edit. I'm gonna just show y'all the rest of it Ooh, let me get it open I'm trying to open it without having to put my camera down. Okay, here goes some more. And there goes some more. I ain't even gonna, you know, bore y'all with too much. But y'all, I'm excited. This is like next level. Becoming the manufacturer and being able to not only produce stuff for me, but to be able to produce products and sell to other, you know, new business owners who are wanting to get product. Game changer. All right, bye y'all. I'm excited. Good morning, y'all. We are out headed um Madison's learning session with her teacher. We're meeting her at the library today. I'm gonna take y'all in there with us, but obviously I'm not gonna be recording their learning session, you know, invasion of privacy. <laughs> but I'll at least um, show y'all, I guess, the surroundings or environment or whatever you wanna call it. So yep, that's where we're headed. And then after that, we'll get into a little bit of, oh, Madison said it's a surprise. We'll get into a little bit of daytime activities <laughs> um, after her learning. content real quick so we ended up at this man-made beach um of course it has water and it has you know the sand and all of that volleyball um volleyball nets and all of that it is very hot out here i just went up there and got us some ice <laughs> so that we can uh make sure we got something on deck that's one thing we forgot y'all we forgot to get some juice and stuff because we was running out the house this morning to make it to madison session but i'm gonna show y'all um what it looks like and all of that but bear with me, if content ain't content, but I'm gonna show y'all. Um, I 
Target wasn't on my agenda, my mental agenda. She been trying to get to Target since this weekend. But uh, we'll see. But like I said, agenda, homes, car lots, dealerships, whatever. You always want to plan the day out. I don't always plan the day out. I'm basically telling them what's on our agenda so that they know what's coming next. So yeah, that's what we're doing today, y'all. We're gonna look at some houses in different areas and then we're also going to go to a few dealerships. Well, I don't know about a few. We pretty much know where we're gonna go. So we'll see and we'll take y'all along with us. We just left uh, Mercedes Benz of Plano and just in case y'all are in the market for a vehicle, we talked to Jerry. He was very nice, very knowledgeable. As y'all saw, we looked at um, we looked at two G-Wagons, but I only showed y'all one. I showed y'all the one that wasn't um, already sold. They literally said somebody had bought the other one within like the last 24 hours, so the keys weren't even available. But yeah, so it's spacious. My whole thing was I wanted to make sure that it was like spacious enough to where I didn't feel um, cramped because there have been a couple of vehicles that I thought I liked and then when I got inside of it, it was a little bit smaller than what I liked, but that was perfect. But this would definitely be a custom build purchase. So when that time comes, that's what I'm gonna be doing because all they had there was black and then even as far as like the upcoming um, incoming inventory, None of them were that red color that I like, and but that green. oh, he did say they had green. I'm, mm, green is definitely not, especially not that green. Y'all know them business be coming in that dark, like forest green. That is not my color, not for a car. Anyway, and something else that caught my eye specifically for those little roasters, they're small, very compact. So obviously that wouldn't be like the ideal family car, but those little roasters, it was a white one with some red uh, interior, and little yellow brake pads and stuff. It was looking very nice. So, on to the next destination. See y'all when we get there. 230, baby, won't you meet me by the bank? Too early, baby, later you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit, yeah. Windy City, she blow me kisses, no. 30 degrees, way too cold, so hold me tight. All right, y'all, we just left one of the, um, the model homes. So, we went to one. It was closed. People literally had drove out. <laughs> but I guess the realtor or whatever had left like right as we were getting there. And then so we went to one that was like a door or so down. And it was very underwhelming. I had my camera ready and I put that bad boy right back up. It was very just cut and dry, plain Jane. It wasn't doing nothing. No part of that house made me like get excited. My room. Huh? There was like a kid, like girls room in Madison like that, but outside of that one room, I didn't like anything. Chris didn't like it either, and therefore I did not record. There was a big spider um, in one of the closets, but that ain't got nothing to do with it. I got the so. Oh, yeah. So, uh, on to the next destination. Shardy's like a melody in my head. Okay, y'all, so we got a little pissed off because we hungry. Um, we had what's a burger, and y'all, they got the banana pudding shake again, and we tried the banana pudding shake. I want to say that was last summer. Loved it. So we're definitely about to get us one. I don't know about Madison, but I know me and Chris like it. So definitely about to get us one. Huh? He said 20 out of 10. All right, y'all. Come to my Madison. Yes. Well, she knows. Oh. Okay. Good afternoon, y'all. We are headed to the 
the place I don't like to go. We head to the grocery store. I'm yeah. going because I planned it out with them. And them, I'm talking about uh, Chris and Madison. And Madison said, hey, so Madison likes to go to the store, y'all, and just wing it and just get what she thinks she wants or she think we need or whatever. You go grocery shopping with Madison, go grocery shopping. Tisk, tisk. But yeah, it's all planned out and everything. Wrote down the menu for the week and all of that. Well, the rest of the week. And then wrote down the exact ingredients that we need. So we can just get in, get what we need, and um, dip up editor. And I'm going to make a separate, not necessarily a vlog. It'll be more so like, I guess, a how-to on how I go about prepping. When I do decide to, you know, go to the grocery store or whatever, because you know normally I like to do the pickups or whatever. But I'm gonna do a separate video to show exactly what I do to prep for at least a week. It can be longer than that, but at least a week to make sure you don't forget nothing, make sure you stay within a budget if you give yourself a budget and all of that. But we'll see y'all when we get to the store. On a spaceship, now I'm a space cadet. Big white mansion in my habitat. Aim a lot of stitch like a lady tech. Fuck a rich bitch, have a rich set. Smoke a lot of trees, need a weed plant. Did take a lean where the lean at. Sleeping on the G's is a beanbag. Alright, my bad, y'all. I forgot to mention that we are hungry. And so before we go to the store, we're gonna go to Salada because we just want, you know, a little light something to eat. Because we are hungry, but we don't want to eat out. Like, we're tired of eating out. That's the main reason we're going to the store. So. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, we had some Salada. So, um, I'll show y'all what we end up getting there. I'm probably gonna get my good old faithful. Uh, mix that I always be getting and I'll let y'all know what it is I'm gonna uh, probably get some footage while we're in there and then if I don't get a lot I'll at least come back and tell y'all what I get on my salad in case y'all want to try my little old mix So we just left Salada and I believe I didn't leave out nothing that um, I had on my salad. But just in case I did, I'm going to read y'all from a previous order. Because I pretty much always get the same thing. It was not previous. Um, romaine hearts, red onions, cilantro. Um, today I got Parmesan cheese like I told y'all. But sometimes I get the mixed cheese. The apples, the croutons, I got the ranch and the croissant. Um, the only thing that I got today that I did not previously get was the corn and I honestly don't even really like that corn I like when I make my own little chopped salads at the house because I get sweet corn and you know add a little, mm -mm -mm. Um, And then Chris got the Arcadian mix in case y'all want what he got um, And then he got tomato cucumber carrots uh, edamame today. He did not get beets, but previously he would get beets um, cilantro feta cheese chopped egg parmesan cheese pineapple mandarin oranges strawberries grapes apples for his dressing he does balsamic vinaigrette um and he also gets a croissant and then madison got the kids little bento box or whatever she got yeah she said it was good she got mandarin oranges today turkey grapes the, <laughs> the big old chunks of um turkey she got ranch for her dressing and i feel like i'm leaving carrots. oh and carrots yeah that's Nasty. what she got in her 
bento box today. So that's what we get when we go to Salada, you know, give or take a couple of ingredients, we might change it up. But that's it. We're about to head into the grocery store now and I'll get, you know, a little, little footage while we in there. We just finished up in the first store. There were some things that that particular store did not have, so we ended up coming to Kroger too. Chris and Madison went in because we literally just needed um, two more things. We needed some wings, and then we needed some of the caramel water that we'd be getting because for whatever reason, you know, a lot of stores still don't carry caramel water. So we know for a fact Kroger does when we don't want to like order it on Amazon or whatever. So we're gonna get some from here. Hopefully they got some because you know it's. It ain't too late, it's like 550 something, but hopefully they got it. So after this, we'll be headed back to the house. Look at me, where she wanna be. Call me Freaky T off the leash. I feel like a dog, I can't have the flea. Keep it pee, never needed you, but you needed me. I got cream, make up baby clean, who's push your self esteem. I, I get tired in the moment, so I feel like baby king. Good evening, y'all. We are back with another Family Friday. If you watched last week's vlog, then you know that we went to the beach last week and we had a little fun out there in the sun, burning up. Well, this um, Friday, we are headed to go grab us a bite to eat. We're about to go get some barbecue at one of our favorite barbecue spots uh, right outside of Dallas. And then we're gonna go see a movie together. Um, the movie we're gonna go see is Elemental. Wanna say something, little girl? <laughs> it's in 3D. Oh, yo, it is in 3D. So we're gonna go see Elemental in 3D. So of course we gonna take y'all along as we always do. I'm gonna show y'all the uh, food. It's not necessarily a menu to show y'all, but I'll at least you know show y'all all the the meats and all of that. 
But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the food and all that. And of course, I'm gonna show y'all what we get as well. But yeah, we figured we would go get some food, like some really good food before we go. And then when we get to the movies, it's more so gonna be like snack time or whatever. Yeah. You know, with the popcorn and all that. Cause last time we ate and then we didn't have no room for no snacks <laughs> after we ate. And we went to Studio Movie Grill last time to see the Little Mermaid. I vlogged, you know, a little bit of it. Just FYI, I don't know what Studio Movie Grill looking at. You know, if the ones y'all be going to the Studio Movie Grill branding and all of that, it has went downhill. And we were not impressed. We were very let down. And I didn't say yeah. nothing in that vlog. Huh? The air was out. Yeah, the air was messed up. The floor was sticky, and you can tell they're just not doing a very good job of maintaining their theaters. So that's a letdown, and they ain't gotta worry about us ever again. But I'm just throwing that out there, just yeah. But yeah, so headed to go get food, and we'll check back in with y'all in a minute. peeps so we <laughs> we done we're done eating it was good i did not you know overstuff myself i'm just satisfied but i don't know about others in the car but uh <laughs> but yeah so it was good and just in case y'all want to check it out the place is called hard eight the number eight y'all barbecue and they have two locations in Dallas. I'm gonna let y'all do your own Google search, depending on which one is closest to you. But yep, it was good. Been coming here a couple years now, and I feel like it's one of the best barbecue spots, you know, within the Dallas um, Metro Clips or whatever. And like I said, it's right outside of Dallas. It's not far at all, you know. So now we are headed to um, the movies. So we'll be there shortly. We didn't get no dessert because like I said, we're gonna use the movies for like our little snack dessert type thing. So y'all won't get there. What you doing? Where you at? Oh, you can play. Don't say that. Sipping wine in a row. I look too good to be alone. House play. this particular vlog maybe like i don't know maybe three maybe four days ago or whatever and it had been up for like two days people were starting to watch it and stuff and so chris eventually watched it and you know i always want like feedback critique all of it y'all what i tell y'all he was like yo conclusion was telling them what happened in the vlog that you posted i was like what so anyway 
my butt pulled up the wrong note in my phone and I had to re-record this. So I was telling y'all the wrong stuff for the next vlog. So for the second time, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the correct note this time. And I'm gonna tell y'all what to expect on the next vlog because I just didn't want it to end um, with the credits of the movie or whatever. I wanted to actually make a closing and then tell y'all what's going on in the next vlog. So here we go. In the next vlog, I got the right note this time. Y'all are going to see us do a little grocery run, um, do a little bit more of a house hunting. We end up going to Hobby Lobby. Um, I get some new fabric swatches that I'm real excited about, y'all, because these are going to be like some fabric swatches that can go from season to season, and I can already like start planning for a spring with this next um, piece that I'm starting to design too. So I'm excited about that. Um, we also go to the Dallas Men's Show. It's me, um, Chris, and then my cousin. Uh, we go to the Dallas Men's Show, which is basically a trade show that has men's manufacturers and vendors and stuff like that. So I do got some clips for that to show y'all. And then y'all are going to see me towards the end record some of my fashion content for my brand. So that's how the next vlog will go. And I'm sure I left a couple things out. But that's just like the gist of what's going to be going on in the next vlog. Thank y'all for tuning in. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, share it with a family member, friend, homegirl, whoever that you think will enjoy my vlogs and all of my content. And I'll see y'all on the next one. One, I'm one of one. I'm number one.